11, including five in a row in Coral Gables. Officials tonight, Pat Driscoll, Lamar Simpson, Brent Hampton, and Matthew Cleveland who told Randolph and I at shoot around, he needs one touch, <laughs> and then the nerves will go away. We will see. They've tried to downplay the Cleveland return. Both sides have. See, I thought it was one shot. You got to get one shot and then let the nerves go. He said one touch, and Cleveland right now digging up Jalen Worley. Darren Green, catch and shoot. He knocks down the three. He had 20 at Miami a season ago. And he's the one guy you got to find early. You can't let his first shot attempt be an open look from three. 41% from three on the season. Miller and O'Meara on the perimeter. And the three good for Wugga Poplar who might be the most improved player in this league. He is leading the country in Division I three-point I mean, three percentage and shooting at 49%. Both teams come out and make mistakes on the defensive end of the floor. Let's see if the nerves settle down here and they lock in. You saw the starting lineup a moment ago for Florida State. There's Deontay Green on the inside. And Jameer Watkins is Florida State's leading scorer. Green, a sharpshooter, starting five for Miami. Poplar. Having a breakout junior season. O'Meara's the team's leading scorer. First look, first shot, first touch for Cleveland is no good. And a whistle. Just tying up the shoe there. <laughs> Had a little trouble. Jameer Watkins does over there tying his shoe up. We got multiple guys doing it now. That used to be the first thing John Wooden would teach his players how to put on your socks when you and got lace tired. up your shoes. Well, you I would you also would do it when you got tired. This is so early in this game. Don't underestimate that the anxiety and excitement in this game. Guys will fatigue early and just need to catch their second win. That's why I wear loafers. <laughs> Baba Miller inside against Cleveland. There's the double. Green walked. Great job by Bob Miller there. Seeing a double team coming. You see Miami's getting creative on the defensive end of the floor. They lack size. So when the ball goes in the post, you see the double team there. All the way to the rim, it's Bensley Joseph who came into the game in a 4 for 25 shooting slump. You couldn't find two more pole opposite teams. I mean, one team is with the length and want to pressure you. And the one thing you don't want to see is a team with multiple handlers, and they got five handlers, Miami does, that can help handle this pressure. And that I don't think there's another team in the ACC that has that. And it's five handlers who all have the green light yes. in transition. Yes, they know they're not coming out of the game. So that's the good thing is you don't have to worry about taking a bad shot and coming out. At the clash of styles, Miami has really only been about six deep in terms of scoring. A.J. Casey's their seventh. Florida State under Leonard Hamilton has always employed a deep bench and a long rotation. Cleveland against one of his good buddies, Deontay Green, over to Poplar. It's tipped around, and Green, Darren Green, corrals the board. Green with his second three. The tendency on that dribble handoff, the pitch back, is to go under it, and you got to chase him over. You've got to run Green off the line. Shooting 41% on the year. Extremely streaky. Joseph pulls it back. And the thing with Darren Green, he's a microwave. His threes come in bunches. He's had games with five, six, seven threes or more in his career. He has, and Joseph and Pack there didn't communicate the switch and can't make that mistake on a guy that shoots as well as he does. Miller picked up by Cleveland. Now Watkins, the Seminoles' leading scorer. A transfer from VCU. Deontay Green blocked at the rim and it draws the foul. We talked about that earlier today with Coach L. He can ill afford to get no Chad O'Meara in foul trouble. And he quicks up one early. You often say, I say this all the time to guys, protect the first foul. You got to protect the first foul. So in that situation, you give that up? No, you, you just elevate walk. He's trying to block the shot. Just go up, wall up. If he makes it, what's two points? I'm not going to hurt you right now early in the game, man. He picks up another when he's done for the half. 
or he gets real tentative if he has to play with two fouls. Just do a better job of protecting that first one. You can keep, you can stay in your aggressive and attacking mindset. Foul trouble the first half of last season was an issue for O'Meara. Once he figured out yeah. how to stay on the floor, uh, we saw what Miami can do, a Final Four run. But one thing about this team, though, different from last year, is this team cannot be successful without him. Nigel Pack gets to the rim. Green off a nice feed from Worley. And you and I talked about Worley earlier as a point guard. His size is 6'7". Expect him to post up Nigel Pack some. This is what we talked about, about multiple handlers. Omir strong to the 10. It's difficult to press a team where the center can take the, break the press and do that. Last week, we asked Jim Laranega, hey, does Omir have the green light to bring the ball up on a fast break? And he goes, until he loses the privilege, he's got it. <laughs> he's expending a lot of energy hedging that ball screen and ain't getting back. Green the turnaround, too strong. Offensive rebound to Watkins. And he uses the window. Florida State, five of its first six. At that time, Miami has to be worried because Amir challenges the shot. He can't get under the, under the rim to rebound. And that's where the length of Florida State can take over a game. Pack, who's got that quick release. Bat it around, it comes to Watkins. I love to see Nigel Pack shoot a basketball. That release is so quick, no wasted motion. When we come back, we will revisit Matthew Cleveland's heroics from a season ago. The interaction with everybody here, the service advisors, your sales associate, when I walk in, they're always glad to see me. Everyone that touches that vehicle, they take pride in being here for the brand. We hold ourselves to you know, very, very high standard. I think this is the premier place. The way they attend to the customers is second to none. In our customer service experience, we're like family at the dealership. So when we sell you a car, we're not just selling you a car, you're family at the end of the day. It's bow time. Hey, sweetie. Hey, mom. I land at three. Any ideas for your first meal home? Bojangles? <laughs> well, you don't want my cooking. <laughs> well, okay. This holiday, order your family favorites in the Bojangles app. Now that tastes like home. It's bow time. <laughs> If you love to travel, Capital One has a rewards credit card that's perfect for you. With Venture X, earn unlimited double miles on everything you buy and turn everyday purchases into extraordinary trips. And get access to over 1,300 airport lounges where you just check in and chill out. Open up a world of possibilities with Capital One. What's in your wallet? Every year, Thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments through the falling hydration levels. Mm. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Rehydrate, replenish, refuel. Thousands of people are switching to Spectrum Internet. We count on Spectrum Internet and the advanced Wi-Fi to always keep us connected and protected. It's so reliable and fast. Ever since we switched to Spectrum Internet, our daughter's curiosity has a new spark. <laughs> now we're saving a ton. Amazing. Switch to super fast Spectrum Internet with the most reliable internet speeds for $49.99 a month with no added taxes or fees, plus free advanced Wi-Fi and no data caps. Call 833-659-4999 or scan to call. Call now. Jordana, easy on the gas. I gotta wrap this commercial. I think I'm late on my payment. It's okay, the general gives you a break. Yeah, we let you pick your own due date. Good to know, because this next scene might take a while. For a great low rate, go with the general. I think good health means a lot of things. It could mean how you feel, it could mean how you take care of your body, what you put into your body, what you do for exercise, how you sleep. It's not just about feeling good, it's being proactive and what you can do. Miller for three, for the lead, got it! Final chance, Florida State, Worley, Cleveland for the win! It's good! Matthew Cleveland stuns Miami! The theatrics, the heroics from Cleveland when he was a knoll last year.
But the story within the story is what happened in the second half. And Jim Laranaga told us today, Florida State's depth, their length, it wore down Miami, who ran out of gas after halftime. Yeah, he mentioned that. And they do that, they tend to do that to everyone. But he knows he has a limited bench. And let's see if he goes to his seventh, eighth, and ninth player to kind of minimize it. And let's see if he does it early. Florida State already making a couple of substitutions. Primo Spears into the game. He hit the last three. Cam Corrin comes in as well. AJ Casey is in there for Miami in place of Omir. Poplar a three, and that's good. 49% from three. That's just a from three. That's just an amazing number. I mean, you're nearly making half of your threes. And he's not taking one a game. He's getting them up, and that's impressive. Green's knocked down a couple from the outside. Skip pass Miller to Spears. Blocked. The defense by Bensley Joseph. Primo Spears is a player to watch. He's able to get his own shot. He can create on his own. When he plays within the structure of the offense, though, this is a really dangerous team. It is because what he gives them is a guy that late clock situations, you can give him the ball and he can go make a play. And teams that want to reach their goals ultimately, I call them closers, and he's a, he's a guy that can close the game for you. Joseph thought about the three, turns it over. Green. That would have been his third triple offensive rebound, Miller. Knocked away by Cleveland. Dude. Matthew Cleveland still looking for his first points, averaging almost 16 and a half per game. The freshman Keyshawn George out of Switzerland, number seven with the hair for Miami into the game. Green this time the dribble drive. I think he could put it on the deck and drive. He shoots it so well from behind the arc. You got to close out to him. Look to see him do that more. Poplar. We'll get two shots. It's a great drive there, one-on-one. -on -one. It's hard to help when the ball is in the middle of the floor. You know, you don't know whether it's strong side or weak side. Florida State usually does a really good job of funneling you on one side. But pushing this guy around is not an easy task. I mean, he gets wherever he wants. He's so efficient on the floor. I mean, 50% from the field, 50 from three. And I just about to credit him on the line, and I jinxed him. I was about to say he shoots 88%. So I'm going to take one off. He's shooting 87 now. I'm going to knock him down one. Omir back in. Poplar's also a testament to something you don't often see in college basketball these days. A guy who has developed at one program, started as a reserve as a freshman, started last year, was still a role player, and now he's become a bona fide all-conference type for Miami. He's turned himself into a heck of a player. I mean, he competes on the defensive end. He has the size, the athleticism, and you see why he's on draft board, because that type of development tells you what he's about. Here's Chandler Jackson, sophomore out of Memphis. Good defense by Poplar. Up ahead to George. Miami scores in transition as well as anyone. They get it up and down as quickly with so many handlers. They usually attack you because you try to match up with them. But this Florida State team, that doesn't always work. They get back and just match up with anybody But that time. Beat them down the floor. That time, Omir, who had the foul, didn't want to pick up number two. And Corrin. That was like a matador he going can't. inside. Yeah, you got to get out of the way. If you're not there early, get out of the way. That's why I say protect the first one, and then you can challenge that. George's three, offensive rebound, O'Meara. Blocked away by Corin. Jackson leaning in, the rebound by Joseph. Got numbers if they take advantage of it. Over to Casey, who lays it in. Miami in transition is lethal. Well, one thing about Florida State team, they, they put so much pressure on the paint that sometimes they, when their guards go rebound, there's no defensive balance. And Miami pushes as well as anybody. He's had a couple of transition baskets here early. They see if Florida State designates someone to get back on defense. 
Miller. That doesn't go. O'Meara snags the carom. When Baba Miller shoots, I don't even know why you go out there to challenge him. Numbers for Florida State. Green drops it off for Spears. You cannot, if you're Miami, turn the basketball over. Because this is what Florida State's banking, the full court pressure, turning you over, getting layups, getting in transition. They've done a really good job in half court, knocking down threes, but they really want to get out in transition. Omir through the trees, and he's able to draw the foul. Frenetic case early on between these two Sunshine State rivals. Casey on the drop off from Joseph. It's still Florida State by four as Spears finishes from Green on the other end. The interaction with everybody here, the service advisors, your sales associate, when I walk in, they're always glad to see me. Everyone that touches that vehicle, they take pride in being here for the brand. We hold ourselves to you know, a very, very high standard. I think this is the premier place. The way they attend to the customers is second to none. In our customer service experience, we're like family at the dealership. So when we sell you a car, we're not just selling you a car, your family at the end of the day. If you love to travel, Capital One has a rewards credit card that's perfect for you. With Venture X, earn unlimited double miles on everything you buy and get access to over 1,300 airport lounges. Open up a world of possibilities with Capital One. What's in your wallet? When you're launching a new product with a tight deadline. Two weeks? Grammarly's tone suggestions can help motivate your team with a positive approach. Because you know we got work to do. Looking good, team. When it's time to pitch your product to clients, a more personable and friendly approach can help sell it. And look, they bought it all. With Grammarly, getting the tone just right makes a big impact on your team's success. Download at Grammarly.com today. Every year, thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments due to falling hydration levels. They've been told how you feel yourself doesn't matter. Then just like that, they're gone. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Rehydrate, replenish, refuel. A classic, cheesy, crunchy blast of flavor packing 14 grams of protein. New One Puffs. The Wells Fargo Active Cash Card. Earn 2% cash back on what you want, like catching the latest foreign film and need. Like new glasses. Hey, it's me, your future you. You made bad money moves. So no vacations for you. Don't, Don't make, make your future, future you hate you. you. Compare and find top financial products today. Nerd Wallet. <sighs> Kid parties are rough. I heard your Wi-Fi works up here. Even on game day. Thomas is a good gillionaire now. His new all fi has this whole place covered. Yes. What? Hmm? Live like a gagillionaire. AT&T Fiber with all five. Leonard Hamilton and Jim Laranega, now the elder statesman amongst the coaches in the ACC. And now we talk about Matthew Cleveland coming back to play his former team. Leonard Hamilton resurrected this Miami program many years ago. He has, and we joked with us early about he's never taken over a program when they were really good, and, and he's had to build them up. And did that at Miami, and he's definitely done that at Florida State. I think he's a Hall of Fame in my book, and just waiting on his enshrinement. Jim Laranega, he's up for the Hall of Fame for the second consecutive year as well. The head coach at Miami coming off his second Final Four run. Took George Mason to the Final Four. And then he took Miami to its first Final Four in program history a season ago. He is in my book as well. I mean, one of the best basketball minds. Just an overall great guy. They, they, they say these guys are old, but when you spend five minutes with them, they, they're just so young and energetic. Spears, back iron. Taylor Bulls bowling. He has given this team energy off the bench, and he's only scratching the surface of his potential. I spoke to their staff quite a bit about him, and they just, former Brewster Academy stars, just 
the next one in line. There's been so many, and he's just another freshman coming through. He fits the coach hand build. That 6'8 to 6'9 frame and just athletic and length. And Coach Ham tells you just learn how to play defense early. We'll figure out the rest. The young man who was born in a refugee camp in Egypt moved to the U.S. at age two. There's Spears. Core in good position. And again, O'Meara didn't want to pick up that second foul. Now he conceded it. And that's what we talked about. He's now they're in a 2 2 1 full court pressure here. A lot of dribbling by Pack. Casey missing the flush, but they'll get the foul, and that's going to be two on Bull Bowen. Just Florida State just driving, rim running it again. They know Amir has one foul, and the other wasn't pick up that second. So they're going to continue to tack him inside. 14 points in the paint for Florida State. And that's generally how they play. They attack the rim, put pressure on you off the bounce, want to attack you off the dribbles. They've gotten off to a hot start tonight from behind the three-point line, knocking down three threes here early. And they're knocking down threes. They are difficult to handle. They've been shooting it well in conference play, 38% from three in league play. And that's why I think they've, they're sitting at the top of the ACC because they're going to defend. They're going to defend you for 40 minutes, and if they get perimeter shooting, the way they attack the paint just makes them a difficult out. Worley blocked by George. O'Meer keeps it in bounds. And then gives it up. And Spears stepped out of bounds. Now you think about how close Florida State is to being undefeated in league play. Their one loss was to North Carolina in a game in which Florida State blew a 14-point second-half lead. You know the old saying, the teams that press don't like to be pressed. And I thought Carolina pressed them in that game, and FSU was uncomfortable and kind of fell behind and had some careless turnovers, and, and it cost them that one. That's their only loss in the ACC. Pack over the taller Miller. Battle for the board. It's O'Meer. And he's got two free throws coming. Norchad O'Meer. Average to double-double the last three years. Has a chance to do it again. 17-9 entering play. I think he's well on his way. Nigel Pack takes that three over the length. And that's what you expect, too. When the, when the team switch like this, if your guard takes that shot, you tell your big, you got a point guard on you, you dominate him inside and get the rebound and finish. Now, not everybody's point guard is 6-7, but you still expect your big man to, to get that offensive rebound. Miami's not going to pull much pressure. They want to get back in the pack line and kind of stay in the gap. They're not going to deny much of the perimeter. They want to stay in front and make you take a low percentage shot. Corrin with great position and another nice feed from Worley. And now, because of no Chad O'Meara had that first foul, he's not hedging. He doesn't want to get a foul hedging the ball screen. So they're turning the corner, hitting a roll guy. O'Meara stripped. And Florida State knows that. They're attacking inside. Almost daring O'Meara to be aggressive. Here comes Jackson. Court knocks it away from George. And the foul. Second turn over there for Miami. Not clearing a rebound. Just took it away from him. Randolph, explain to me how this Florida State team lost to Lipscomb in its final non-conference game. <laughs> oh, some of it is just they're not healthy. And, and, and Coach Ham wants these guys. He wants 12 guys. He wants to constantly rotate them. And they get their experience guys back. They got the experience now before in the past. The last couple of years, we've had guys that would be in the back of the rotation kind of starting and, and the way Florida State kind of plays is saying, hey, you know what? Our starters will play you even at 6 through 10 is where we're going to make a difference. And when you don't have that and you, they're not available to you, your guys run out of gas trying to play this style of play. And I think that's what's hurt them the last couple of years. Our Leonard Hamilton also telling us guys have settled into more defined roles. You're seeing players like Baba Miller take the next step in their progression. 
even your transfers. Like, guys aren't accustomed to, to plan, playing for Florida State. I use it as a, a running a 400. The average person runs the 400. They just want to jog around and sprint the last 100. He wants you to sprint out the gate. And, and, and it's difficult for most athletes to do. It's like a relay, really. You sprint around and then that's how he wants you, That's how he wants you to go. And, but as a player, sometimes we always want to save it to try to finish strong. He doesn't want you to save anything. Give it all you got, tap out, sub. The next guy comes in and does the same thing. Worley walked. Worley's important to this team because he settled down that point guard position for him. Now this Florida State team at points this season, they weren't sharing the ball. Today and of late, they've been better. Nine assists tonight on 12 made field goals. Now, Worley has a lot to do with that. He defends and uses his length, and he's first pass. Point George the friendly roll. Worley's got four assists already. Worley's playing early as well. We talked about the, the depth. George. I think he's the best pro prospect on his Miami roster. Oh, how about Spears, wow. the alchemy to split the defense? And that's what we talked about. That's what he can do. He can get you a bucket. And if he finds his role, as he gets more comfortable within this lineup, I think he can be a guy that Coach Hampton can, can set up to be a closer for him. Cleveland rims out. He's still without a point, still without a basket. Sometimes you think so much, you kind of you tend to overthink it. Spears just comes off the ball screen. Great split there, getting in, finishing with a nice lefty lay. Got a good ball game here in Coral Gables. Seminoles up eight. The interaction with everybody here, the service advisors, your sales associate, when I walk in, they're always glad to see me. Everyone that touches that vehicle, they take pride in being here for the brand. We hold ourselves to you know, a very, very high standard. I think this is a premier place. The way they attend to the customers is second to none. Our customer service experience, we're like family at the dealership, so when we sell you a car, we're not just selling you a car, you're family at the end of the day. Hi, you might know me from my other job, but I'm a business owner too. Here at Once Upon a Farm, we chose the new Capital One Venture X business card. With no preset spending limit, our purchasing power adapts to meet our business needs. Love it. And unlimited double miles means we earn more too. Sweet, right? And when we travel, we get access to over 1,300 airport lounges. I can get used to this. The Capital One Venture X business card. What's in your wallet? to cocktail shakers. Amazing sights to tasty delights. From doubles to bubbles, that secret find to a chance to unwind. From spectacular aces to iconic places, match epic play with your perfect day. Have you ever seen anything like that? The umpires call play. And stay with AO Travel. without an overpowering smell. Now, isn't that refreshing? Florida State on the season, second in the ACC in steals. They are number one in turnovers forced per game tonight. Five steals. 
they're playing at a tempo which they can sustain for yes. 40 minutes. I don't know if Miami's got the depth to do it. Yeah, I don't know if Miami wants to try to do that, but this is what Florida State does. They force you into it. And let's see if Nigel Pack and he's got, they got multiple handlers, so they're capable of doing so, but sometimes that requires you. Miami likes to score in transition as well, so. Official there, Brent Hampton got tied up with the photographer. That was some pretty good balance by Hampton. Yeah, I would have went down. I saw him setting it, balancing himself on one leg there. Run up, go screen here. Danny up into a ball screen. Green of three. And a tip in by Ganey. The Brown transfer who was a two-time Ivy League defensive player of the year. He's not quite healthy yet. You can see him kind of favoring. And if anyone had an ACL, you can tell by the brace. And physically, he's fine. It just takes some adjustments mentally. Joseph over Miller. O'Meer on cleanup duty. <laughs> I think that's the matchup. Omir has to dominate the switches. When these guards switch, as they switch five and the guards get on him, he has to dominate the offensive glass. Watkins underneath. They continue to challenge Omir. Numbers for Miami. Pack the head of the snake. And miscommunication. One at Cleveland. Six turnovers for the Canes. Yeah, I thought Pack had him early. You see Matthew turn on the Jets coming across half court. He had the angle. If he gave it to him early, I think we had a highlight reel coming. Matthew Cleveland needed a play like that, kind of to get, get going in this game. He was 0 for 2 and sprinted out on a break right there. His point guard didn't get, didn't get it to him. And a tie up down low, O'Meer and Ganey. If it's on O'Meer, it's his second. It's a lot of mass. They're trying to direct traffic. They want both teams to go to their benches. think it's a foul on Amir. I didn't, I didn't see anything to think Amir should get a foul. Pat Driscoll, Lamar Simpson, Brent Hampton will sort this out. Yeah. I mean, that's definitely an offensive foul there on Green. Hey, you see the two big guys, and it was Green who got in yeah. there. You can't lean like that. He kept moving. Now, they could have called the hold earlier, but that's definitely an offensive foul on Green. So it's just a matter of which foul they call first. Oh, given how this game ended a year ago, so much obviously being made about Matthew Cleveland coming back and making his return against his old team, but you know, both sides downplayed it. Leonard Hamilton telling us this is a business trip. Jim Laranega's message to Matthew Cleveland, don't get distracted. Cleveland has not really made an impact so far. No points, no rebounds, no assists. And the foul yes. went on O'Meara. Yes, that's a big foul there. And obviously he's coming out of the game now. Coach L can't be happy with that call, but it's like we talked about it. He tried to play tentative. As soon as he got that first foul early, he got tentative, gave up some some finishes in a paint he normally wouldn't give up and then he gets one fighting for position and now he has to sit. The freshman from Toronto 6'10 Michael Nwoko into the game for the first time. He had not played in the last few games. Worley challenging him right away and able to get the deuce. Difficult spot for Nwoko to be in. The pace of this game and He's got a handle on the perimeter. Cleveland looking for that first basket. There it is. First time he's touched it, he was just decisive. Just got it. No hesitation at all. Attack the paint, elevated. Got to his spot and finished. Worley the lob. Gainey the flush. 
Ganey is dunking everything around the rim. You've got to get in front of him early. 26 of Florida State's 38 points in the painted area. And Joseph fouled on the drive. It's just a great drive, then. Didn't hesitate. Woolley comes down, draws the help. Nobody there over there to rotate. Ganey just flushes it. Second foul on Worley. Foul trouble, not as much of a concern for Leonard Hamilton. Never. As it is for Jim Laranega. <laughs> Primo spears into the game. Worley, though, gave this team some nice minutes, a couple of points, and five assists. And I think you can see even with the baseline out of bounds, they're concerned with Florida State's length. Nawoko blocked from behind by Ganey. Now the inexperience showed that should have been an easy two. Yeah, I got to go up stronger in there and in length. Nigel Pack comes in and you can notice the baseline out of bounds. He gets in the paint. He's going to get there all he wants. I think Nigel needs to start looking to finish that too. You see the baseline out of bounds. Nigel Pack is not even in your screen. He's all the way on the other end of the court. They're concerned about Florida State's in that baseline out of bounds trap. So they throw the touchdown. Now we're going to get to playing. Now they don't have much time. Shot clock down to two. Pack over Ganey. Rainbow hits the front rim. And it comes back to Ganey. Sometimes as a point guard, you don't want that screen. It's five seconds. Just let me go. Watkins, the VCU transfer, rebounded Nowoko. Yeah, I think Nigel needs to get more. Nigel Pack right here needs to get more aggressive. I like his matchup against Ganey. Give it back to him and let him go one-on-one. -on -one. Get in the paint. Don't settle for a jump shot here. Over to Joseph. Sets. Another rebound by Ganey. Watkins only two points, one of four. Make it two of five and four points. And Jim Laranega wants a timeout. Florida State extends to its biggest lead of the game. The Seminoles undefeated in the new year. Up a dozen at Coral Gables. The interaction with everybody here, the service advisors, your sales associate, when I walk in, they're always glad to see me. Everyone that touches that vehicle, they take pride in being here for the brand. We hold ourselves to a you know, very, very high standard. I think this is the premier place. The way they attend to the customers is second to none. In our customer service experience, we're like family at the dealership. So when we sell you a car, we're not just selling you a car, you're family at the end of the day. Miami coming off a win Saturday against Virginia Tech following back-to-back -back losses against Louisville and Wake. Last Wednesday, a stunner when Miami lost at home to Louisville. Now, this is a team that has won 25 of its last 27 on this home court. Now, the other loss besides Louisville was to Florida State last February. Yeah, Miami has put so much pressure on him and been dominant here in their home court. They got four guys shooting over 40% from three on this team, and they're struggling from two of 11. And the length of Florida State and their ability to switch everything is just bothering them right now. Pack, mid-air pass. It comes back to Poplar. Against Corrin, shot clock at two. Poplar has it taken away. The length is bothering these guys on the perimeter. Cleveland went for the steal. Nick LeBerry, offensive foul. I think Nigel Pack and these guards, they got to get to the rim. They're settling. They're trying to. Nigel Pack in general wants to create space and back up and shoot his three. You're never going to get that off on the length. As you see, the rotation there comes over. It's the right call. Josh Nickerberry made his mind up there. He was going to force some contact. And Michael Berry, a fifth year senior, started in the ACC at Louisville. Spent the last couple of seasons as a double digit scorer with LaSalle. Cleveland wants it. Poplar from the corner. Even in Woko there, you need him. He needs to get that offensive glass there. 
If he's, you know, on the perimeter, he's doing the DHO stuff, dribble handing off to the guards, but he ran in there, got to get that offensive rebound. Spears created space. Poplar flies for the board. They're not knocking down three. Somebody's got to attack the rim here. Get to the paint. Now the hands of Florida State creating chaos. They're going to get a foul on Primo Spears, but the Knolls still lead by 12. interaction with everybody here, the service advisors, your sales associate. When I walk in, they're always glad to see me. Everyone that touches that vehicle, they take pride in being here for the brand. We hold ourselves to a you know, very, very high standard. I think this is the premier place. The way they attend to the customers is second to none. In our customer service experience, we're like family here at the dealership. So when we sell you a car, we're not just selling you a car, your family at the end of the day. With no fees or minimums, and no overdraft fees, banking with Capital One is the easiest decision in the history of decisions. <laughs> Even easier than this. I'll take Barkley. Yes, I still got it. I told you she picked me first. <laughs> yep, even easier than that. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, is it even a decision? That's banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? First, they're sour. And then, they're sweet. Sour Patch Kids. Sour, sweet, gone. The Australian Open hits different from the networks of ESPN. We have breaking news right now, so we wait to see how this plays out. In all my years, I never watched anything like this. You have got to watch this replay, folks. Da, 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 da. Mahomes. What a catch! Hey, you gotta watch this. I'm watching. Ooh. Oh, I'm watching. You might be done. Now on Sports Center, another wild night. Watch me. Watch me. On ABC. Added up shooting threes and I slam on them. Slam! A new night every Wednesday in January. The league's biggest teams, the game's brightest stars. We hold the rock, I got two hands on it. Half court, we shooting shots like we wide open. Woo! NBA Wednesday on ABC, home of the NBA Finals. Florida State has so many interchangeable parts, but I don't think there's anyone that can do what Jalen Wardy does for this group. His penetration, his creativity, he defends at a high level, but he's so unselfish, the ball moves, and when a ball moves for this team and everyone touches, they're a dangerous team. He played well over the weekend at Notre Dame. 10 points, couple of blocks, three assists to steal. Now, the numbers for a lot of the Florida State players aren't going to pop off no. the page. Their minutes are down. But Worley, uh, there was a time this year when Primo Spears was eligible. You wonder, are his minutes going to be limited the rest of the way? No. He's figured out his role. No, I think he has. And like I said, he's so unselfish in his size. that a 6'7 point guard. That's just a hard matchup. So he, he posts you up, create matchup. When this team struggles to score, that's one of their options that they go to. And now Primo Spears is eligible. He brings a scoring punch. We're watching this team peak at the right time and just get healthier. And it's just scary. Spears, that's what he can do. And a two-shot foul coming for the Georgetown transfer by way of Duquesne. Saturday, a triple header on ACCN. Randolph Childress will be in Tallahassee for Clemson. And Florida State, Clemson falling last night in double overtime to Georgia Tech. Yellow Jackets take on Virginia. How about Georgia Tech? Young team. Yeah. Lots of the freshman point guard, Nathan George. Hit that big shot at the end of regulation. Made big plays in overtime. Damon Stoudemire has to be ecstatic over his freshman and Dongo and George. Those two freshmen are just from a big and a point guard. 
or as connected as any point guard big combination in the ACC. Pitt and Duke, the third game of that triple header. Pitt coming off a loss to Syracuse last night. Coach Hamack invited me to take the plane up with those guys, but I'm afraid I'm a, my trip will be messed up from there and I'll lose my flight, so. And your frequent flyer miles. Uh, yeah, that's true too, man. Don't forget about that. <laughs> Cleveland, and the rebound by Watkins. Spears quickly the other way. Ahead of George, wild shot. Out of bounds, it stays with Florida State. Coach Hammond's okay with that shot because he wants that pace. He wants to get it out, and, and this game in the first half has been played at the pace Florida State wants. And you see Nigel Pack, he's leaned over there. I wonder if... You know, with him rolling his ankles and his inability to practice a bunch, of, like, what's his conditioning going to be like? And he's missed a couple of games this year. Poplar missed a couple of games. Watkins down the lane. Corin to finish. This is a dangerous moment in the game. This last two minutes and 25 seconds for Miami. It's They don't know where their offense is going to come from. Amir is such a big part of their identity on both ends of the floor. Poplar no good. Miami has got more than four minutes since its last point. Lob inside. Nawoka, the intercept. George was not aware of the outlet. Now it's Watkins about. wide open. Miller on the offensive glass. Cleveland comes up with it. Here's Cleveland ahead of the pack all the way. Off balance. It spins out. Nawoko, the putback and the foul. Miami needed that play, and Nuoco needed that play to settle his nerves a little bit. Great job by the big guy running the floor, cleaning up the glass. And boy, did Miami need that basket. A timeout by Leonard Hamilton. We'll take 1-2, one, 150 left in this opening half. Florida State with a double digit. The interaction with everybody here, the service advisors, your sales associate. When I walk in, they're always glad to see me. Everyone that touches that vehicle, they take pride in being here for the brand. We hold ourselves to you know, very, very high standard. I think this is the premier place. The way they attend to the customers is second to none. In our customer service experience, we're like family at the dealership. So when we sell you a car, we're not just selling you a car, you're family at the end of the day. Quad three loss. 150 to go in this opening half. Florida State has shot it well. This is a team that's playing with some confidence. You can see it. You can feel it. They've won four in a row here in the new year. All conference games. They're just a game behind North Carolina for the ACC lead. Nobody saw that coming when right before the calendar flipped to 2024, this team lost at home to Lipscomb. You didn't see it, but again, it's been because it felt like the same thing coming into this year. The last couple of years, they weren't healthy. They didn't have their full complement of roster players. And, and in order for Coach Ham to play the style that he wants to play, he needs everybody. And they've gotten healthy. They've got the experience. Primo getting his eligibility, getting his waiver. And, and you're watching this team ascend to the top of the ACC. Watkins leaves it short. Another rebound for Nowoko. You've got to attack the rim if you're Miami. You can't just sit outside the three-point line. It was almost a backcourt violation. Saved by Pack. Ten to shoot. Poplar puts it on the floor. And a foul on Gainey on the drive. And I think what Miami needs to do is you need to drive to get Florida State in rotation. You're not driving to score because they're collapsing. The length is there. Drive, get them in rotation, and you just one more pass, and you get that's when your threes will start going down. And that has been a staple of Miami's offense yes. all season, not tonight. Yes, no, the length, the length is bothering those guys, and they're backing up, and you're not accustomed to guys that his length bothers, and they just press the pump. Now we're looking at Nigel Pack, and these guys, they're not coming out of the game. 
and you look up and a fresh body's on you and it just wears on you all the time. And you start to see that you get under eight, under four in that second half. Florida State rolling out, fresh bodies, and again, they want to play this tempo yes. for the duration. 87 the hard screen. Falling for it on the inside. Gets it. And we get a foul on Cleveland, who went for the block from behind. And two shots coming for Jalen Ganey. The middle ball screen is giving Miami a ton of trouble. They're getting in the lane, and Matthew Cleason didn't come over to block that shot and contest it. There's a wide open corner three there. You've got to keep the ball out of the middle of the floor in the paint. How do you do that? Well, I think the one thing they got to switch up their ball screen defense. You can tell they scheme. They're expecting you to head that middle screen, and they're rolling hard. And I think maybe even playing uh, drop coverage, just leave the big off. You're not worried about Gainey beating you from perimeter. So you stay big on big, let your guard chase over the screen, and force this Florida State team into some pull-up mid-range jump shots. But you're big on big, and then you're able to rebound the ball. Gainey missed them both. This crowd with a little juice. Student section packed tonight. Rivalry game in Paul Gables. 92nd meeting all time. George driving on Danny. He's going to be a good one. He is so talented. Freshman with the, the Julius Irving throw. I'm loving it. Showing you how he can elevate and get to the basket and finish. to six spears and that's what he can do end of a shot clock end of the half we saw it at the end of the game against Notre Dame yeah it's another middle ball screen there too he comes off that middle screen and they roll and Ganey on the back side they're gonna they're gonna continue to run that action until Miami makes an adjustment they're getting whatever they want final ticks first half Poplar long distance Pat chases it down, puts it up, and the first half comes to an end. Florida State led by as many as 15. They take they go by it at times. They have to fear you going by them, and they're just backing up. And when you back up, you're just helping their length affect your shot. That's something I, the reason I think Nigel Pack and Joseph have struggled from behind the three-point line. O'Meara with a nice pass, but Poplar could not finish. And Florida State looking to push. Miller using the window. Wow, that is scary. That size and athleticism to come down and trail him. And he didn't just, he took Matthew Cleveland to the basket on that drive. There's Pack driving. That's what he needs to do. He gets inside against Baba Miller. That's what he needs to do. Get to the paint, put your feet in that note, that charge zone, and, and then he can pass the teammates. Force rotation. Often as Pack goes, so do the Kings. There are four losses, seven and a half points per game, 29% from the field for Nigel Pack. Green denied at the rim, last touch by Joseph. Miami seems to be a little bit active on the defensive end of the floor here, but Pack just comes down and attacks the Baba Miller there at the rim. And nice lefty finish there, but he needs to do more of that. He doesn't need to settle, shoot three, 25 feet, get in the paint. Get downhill, and then that'll open up his three-point shot. Florida State only three of 11 from three in the opening half. Worley wow. inside Deontay Green. Six assists for Jalen Worley. Wow. Look at that fine. I mean, a wraparound pass there. Just really in control of his game. And his ability to switch and defend bigger guys inside. That's why he's so valuable to this team. Pressure by the Knowles, forcing another turnover. I mean, just getting the paint, finding, knowing his teammates. Great job sealing there by Green. And this team is going to continue to attack the paint. And if they get off and start knocking out threes, then just look out. Miami's got nine turnovers. Florida State had seven steals in yeah. the first half. 
They lead the ACC in that category, and they're one of the best. They're well on their way to their season average with nine in the first half. I mean, seven in the first half. Worley almost traveled. Watkins driving on O'Meara. The up and under, and the put back by Deontay Green. He's got 10 points. You get 10 from Green. You get 11 from Cam Corn. Those are bonus points for Florida State. And look how they're getting them. They're, they're punishing the switching. And this is where their size is a problem. Pack hesitated, now pulls the trigger. It doesn't go. Batted around to Worley. A basket here, and Florida State takes its largest lead of the game. There's just no resistance at the rim. Miller, the runner. Follows his miss, and he is fouled. I mean, we talked about Miami's ability to attack you off the bounce. Florida State possesses the same attributes. I mean, all five of these guys on the floor can can shot fake, get to the rim, and finish, as well as they shoot, they shoot from the three-point line. And Worley is his size. He doesn't have to, but he's a 6'7 point guard. So he, he can post up your point guard. That's always been the classic big guard yes. that Leonard Hamilton likes. Yes, he loves the, the big guards that can defend. And if you see Wardy posting up there, trying to get the, get the ball inside. Shot clock down to seven. Watkins, turbines, green from the outside, not close. And they get Matthew Cleveland going, facing his former team, just two points, one of five, almost a turnover. Mir might be hurt. Yeah, training staff's coming over. He says he's okay. I think he took a shot on that loose ball. That's an experienced player who is a walking double double. Didn't do anything there. Just oh, hard to tell. Yeah, maybe it happened. happened. If we had a possession before, or he's grabbing his ribs. Cleveland's three, not there. He's now one for six. Offensive rebound to Woko, and it's taken away. Second time tonight, Woko has kind of threw that Aaron pass in the three-point line. He's just slow now. He's not used to playing. He's a lot of minutes, and he's forced to. They're going to attack the paint with the freshman in there. And it's Watkins for two. Timeout, Miami. Florida State has its largest lead of the game, 53 to 37. Knowles on a 6-0 run. interaction with everybody here, the service advisors, your sales associate. When I walk in, they're always glad to see me. Everyone that touches that vehicle, they take pride in being here for the brand. We hold ourselves to you know, very, very high standard. I think this is the premier place. The way they attend to the customers is second to none. In our customer service experience, we're like family at the dealership. So when we sell you a car, we're not just selling you a car, you're family at the end of the day. Marcus is a connoisseur of anything that's free. So he was happy to read the disclaimer on TurboTax Free Edition. Roughly 37% of taxpayers qualify. Form 1040 and limited credits only. See how at TurboTax.com. That's me! File your taxes 100% free with TurboTax Free Edition and get your max refund guaranteed. Make your moves count. See if you qualify at TurboTax.com. I'm here courtside. Watch this. You have got to watch this replay, folks. Watch this. Watch this. Oh. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Do this.
intensity. This is the way basketball is supposed to be. Taking the tours, I'm wrecking the land. I keep it hardcore because it's dope, man. What better way to get the juices flowing and to get your adrenaline going? Yes, it is, Jerome! I keep it hardcore like you never saw your one of these. Lovely cast of characters. They're excited for ACC Women's Basketball Doubleheader Sunday featuring three top 25 teams. Duke at number four, NC State. Number 13, Louisville goes to Chapel Hill. Tar Heels in the top 25. And then Sunday, we have our next gymnastics meet right here on ACCN. Pittsburgh visiting number 19, Clemson. Well, this Miami team, Randolph, one of the best in the country from three, better than 40%. And not today. They've missed their last 10 from deep. They have, and that's just the length of Florida State as well. They're switching. There's nothing easy because it's difficult to put them in rotation because they don't, they're not getting in rotation. One is because Miami's not attacking the rim to force rotation. They settled for some of those threes, and I think that's why they're shooting so poorly. Matthew Cleveland only two points tonight, one for six from the field. He and Nigel Pack, who's got the ball, combined for 40 on Saturday. They have a win against Virginia Tech. I think Nigel Pack needs to pick his match up on the switch and get to the rim, just like that. Waga Poplar with a chance at a three-point play. That's what you need to do. You're struggling from behind the line. Just turn the corner there, get down, get deep, get put pressure on the paint, get in the Throw rotation, if not, just finish. Luka Pop is athletic enough to get up there and dunk that as well, so the length of Florida State will not bother him at the paint. He needs to do this more. His team needs it now. These two teams played twice a season ago. In Tallahassee, Miami handed Florida State the Seminoles' worst home loss in conference play since 2005. And then in Coral Gables, Miami romped out to a big halftime lead, led by as many as 25 in the second half, before Florida State put together the biggest comeback in the history of the ACC. And Matthew Cleveland capped it with a buzzer beater for Florida State. Now he's a Miami Hurricane. And they try to downplay this. Hey, it's not a big deal. Florida State said, we're more worried about the other four guys, and this is a business trip. And we talked to Cleveland. He didn't portray a whole lot of emotion. Guy's averaging 21 a game over his last four today. Two points on one of six. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Get out of here with that. Both of them, both sides. It sounds cute. It's the right thing to say. Right. But you're not buying it. Matthew Cleveland wanted to come out here and drop 40. And I know this Florida State team wanted to shut him down as well. Right now, Florida State's having an advantage. Now, the other thing you got to worry about if you're Miami, Jim Laranega said in the second meeting last year, Florida State's constant pressure wore down Miami. They were gassed after halftime. The first 20 minutes, pace of play, heavily favored Florida State. They pressed, they were active. We know Miami right. can play fast, they're just not as deep. Well, Miami doesn't need to speed up because even this lineup on the floor, they got multiple handlers. I mean, Joseph is a point guard, and, and Poplar can handle the rock as well. So they got multiple decision makers. They just need to settle down in that game. Stop settling and just attack the paint. Now, easier said than done with this kind of defensive intensity you're up against. Just keep your spacing. You're still a threat. You got multiple guys. Like I said, they got four guys out there right now shooting over 40% from the three-point line. There's no reason to settle. Miami now two for 17 from three. The shots not falling for the Hurricanes. Florida State in control here at the Watsko Center.
interaction with everybody here, the service advisors, your sales associate. When I walk in, they're always glad to see me. Everyone that touches that vehicle, they take pride in being here for the brand. We hold ourselves to you know, very, very high standard. I think this is the premier place. The way they attend to the customers is second to none. In our customer service experience, we're like family at the dealership. So when we sell you a car, we're not just selling you a car, you're family at the end of the day. NBA Wednesday on ABC. Added up shooting threes and I slam on them. Slam! A new night every Wednesday in January. The league's biggest teams, the game's brightest stars. We hold the rock, I got two hands on it. Half court, we shooting shots like we wide open. Woo! NBA Wednesday on ABC, home of the NBA Finals. Walk at the rack, Hunter. Gonna take it himself. The flash. Clemson at Florida State, Saturday on ACCN. The competition's never been better. This is just spectacular. The stars have never been brighter. That's our move. Women's college hoops on ESPN and ABC. Breaking news right now. So we wait to see how this plays out. In all my years, I never watched anything like this. You have got to watch this replay, folks. Da, 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 da. Mahomes. What a catch! Hey, you gotta watch this. I'm watching. Ooh. Oh, I'm watching. He might be done. Now on Sports Center, another wild night. Watch me. Watch me. Now, there's a lot at stake tonight for Miami. A loss tonight would qualify for the moment as a quad three loss. Florida State with a chance to pick up a quad one win. And we can get in net rankings. Oh, God. Some of it is skewed. It doesn't make a whole lot of no. sense at times. No. But no, the reality is the one thing you can kind of pick out, and, and people may not like this, but if you schedule Pat season non-conference at home and you blow them out and you do it collectively as a league, you boost your league's net ranking. Yeah. Now the net rankings of your teams within league play can shuffle, but your league's net ranking holds, so you're probably going to have the amount of teams to get into the tournament that you would when you started conference play. The ACC with some scars, and again, you got a team like Florida State, which had some ugly losses in non-conference, including Lipscomb. Different team now, playing better. It shouldn't count as a quad three loss, but it will. Joseph blocked. And we get a foul by Watkins and a goaltend. Yeah. No foul, so it'll no be a goaltend. I thought he timed it well. No. It was close. Miami now intensity. They're trying to make a run here. To and with them, it starts on the defensive end as well. They're challenging shots here at the rim. And they have to do a better job of keeping the ball out of the paint. They just allowed it. It's just gotten there too easy for Florida State. And it feels like Florida State is up by a large margin than nine points. And they feel like they've dominated this game. And this team is a couple of possessions away. Now Miami's one three-point barrage away from being right back in this. They go to the ball screen again. Good defense leads to a turnover. Cleveland poked away by Bull Bowen. How about the hustle 
by the freshman. And I think they teed up Jim Laranega. They did. Coach L thought it was a foul there. Doesn't think he's got a fair shake of the whistle tonight. He's been on him pretty hard today. And he's on the sideline. I hope that's not a top. If it's a technical, it must be for something he said. Because he's not out of line there. He's right within the coach's box. Now, Brett Hampton was the official who called Laranega for a technical, and it looked like Laranega was trying to get out of the way. Yeah. He was within the. Here's one more look. Hey, see, Laranega's trying to get out of the way, makes contact. Yeah, he says because they bumped into each other. I thought he was. Are you not allowed to stand up? He's. Well. Oh, we saw some interesting technical fouls called last yeah, night, too. Yeah, yeah, that one there is. I don't know what you expect your head, a head coach to do. Now, the Miami bench was looking over as if to say, where do you want us to go? Yeah, I, I don't know what to say. He's either that or sitting in the coach's lap. It's one of his players' lap. I don't know where Coach Allen, he's found a seat now, but I don't think he's going to sit there long. Poplar picks up the foul. Miami's trying right now. They picked up their defensive intensity. And now the issue becomes you don't have the depth to sustain it. But they come up with the steal. Joseph Spears trailing him. And Bensley Joseph with two shots coming. I got Fifth it. In the ACC and steals. I got it figured out. Coach L saw what Kevin Keats did last night. How the game flipped down double digits. He got a text, so he said, you know what? I'm going to get a tech, fire my guys up so we can get back in this game. I'm sure that's what he was thinking. Well, part two of that <laughs> equation is the phantom <laughs> technical as well. He's got to get one more and get thrown out, though. He, he, he probably didn't want to throw out, get thrown out, but he's, he's going back over and have a seat. Second foul on Spears. Joseph, an 85% free throw shooter. He has taken over really as the point guard this year. It allows Nigel Pack to play more off ball. And what it really gives Jim Laranega is the luxury of having two adept ball handlers, two elite ball handlers yes. in his backcourt. And he's also a really good on ball defender. As you see him now picking up Spears full court and turning him. He's a really good, on, a really good defender. Watkins down the lane. And hits the shot in traffic. We haven't talked about Watkins much for a guy that's leading his team in scoring, rebound, and assists and steals. But that's just how talented this team is. Joseph amongst the trees and stays with Miami. Watkins just turns the corner here and celebrates, picks his dribble up, long strides, and just elevates him being an athlete. He's been Florida State's leading scorer, 13 a game. Helped VCU to the NCAA tournament last year. A game that feels closer than it should. Now, this is where Amir has to dominate because Spears is a smaller guard. Joseph swivels in. And Spears was on Amir, and he was so worried about boxing him out, he never came over to rotate and continue to run that ball screen and switch from him and attack the paint. Spears out of control. Another steal by Joseph, gives it right up. Florida State now into its offense. Watkins, the lob for Corn. Broken play, and the Knowles take advantage. It's a big play there, a chance to get it to six. You had numbers if you don't turn it over and just a, it just sped up a little bit, and that's what Florida State does to you. It just speeds you up, make you play a little faster than you used to, and you make mistakes like that. You're not going to throw a blob over top of those guys in the post. Here comes Bo Bowen leading the break, looking for help. Looked like he shuffled his feet. No call. Well, 
Oklahoma looking to put Nigel Pack in the post. Ten to shoot. Taylor Bull Bowen. Rebound Omir. Just run another ball screen with Omir and get the switch. Pack a long three. It's good. The lid is off the rim for him now. He's got one. They come in bunches. Let's see if he continues to shoot from outside from that range. Worley has shelved the three-point shot this season. Miami plays to the scouting report. The lob broken up. Here comes Poplar. Ahead to Joseph. Gets the roll. It's a two-possession game. Miami can also turn defense into offense. Does a great job there. Great turnovers, quick shots. One of the best transition teams in America. The pendulum is swung. Watkins over to Worley. He's got to put it up over O'Meara. And Miami can make this a one possession game. They trailed by as many as 16. Long three. Good! We say the three point line comes in bunches. You got to get to him. And Nigel Pack is such a deadly shooter. He's starting to find his range. He's struggling with the length early, picking his matchup there, picking on the freshman. Lines him up, and that one he shoots it from the parking lot. Got ourselves a game here now. Come back and join us. The interaction with everybody here, the service advisors, your sales associate. When I walk in, they're always glad to see me. Everyone that touches that vehicle, they take pride in being here for the brand. We hold ourselves to you know, very, very high standard. I think this is the premier place. The way they attend to the customers is second to none. In our customer service experience, we're like family at the dealership. So when we sell you a car, we're not just selling you a car, you're family at the end of the day. NBA Wednesday on ABC. Added, I'm shooting threes and I'm slam on them. Slam! A new night every Wednesday in January. The league's biggest teams, the game's brightest stars. We hold the rock, I got two hands on it. Half court, we shooting shots like we wide open. Woo! NBA Wednesday on ABC, home of the NBA Finals. <laughs> Australian Open. It's different from the networks of ESPN. We have breaking news right now, so we wait to see how this plays out. In all my years, I never watched anything like this. You have got to watch this replay, folks. Shut that, that, that. Mahomes. What a catch! Hey, you gotta watch this. I'm watching. Ooh. Oh, I'm watching. You might be just. Now on Sports Center, another wild night. Watch me, watch me, do this. Competition's never been better. This is just spectacular. The stars have never been brighter. That's our move. Women's College Hoops on ESPN. Feels a little like a reverse mirror of last season. Florida State in this game led by 16. What's changed? I think Miami, since the technical foul, they've ramped up their intensity on the defensive end themselves. They got turnovers, got out of fast break, got some uncontested layups, and then Nigel Pack is knocking in two bombs, getting himself going, and now we'll, we got ourselves a ball game. Last year in this building, late February, Florida State rallied from 25 down in the second half. Largest comeback win in ACC history. Cleveland was a game winner in that game for Florida State, went for the steal. Watkins directing traffic, working on O'Meara through the contact, and the Knowles needed that one. Three Thank on O'Meara. Great drive there. Knew he had O'Meara on him and ice him. Had a strong hand. And... 
gets in the paint, cuts him off, cuts the angle off, and Amir has no choice but to go through his body here. He gets there, plays off two feet, takes the contact. It's a great drive and a great finish. You've been in this spot as a player, as a coach. Road team, they got a big lead. The home team comes back. How do you arrest some of that momentum back to your side? Well, you go back to what's got you here and your guy. When you notice on this possession, they went to Watkins who has led this team in so many categories. It's like, hey, we're in a big moment. We need a bucket. Get him the ball. He isos and makes a play. Almir wanted it. Here's Cleveland. George wide open. And he knocks down the three. Seven straight made baskets for Miami. So now we'll be talking about before attacking the rim. Now you're forcing Florida State to rotation. You're making the one more, finding your shooters. That's the way Miami's basketball. That's the way they want to play. Spears from 15, and the Canes with a chance to tie. They can take their first lead on a three. Cleveland, that does not go. Miami had made its previous four three-point attempts. I think Miami likes the matchups as well. Watkins denied by O'Meara. They let them play. Now Baba Miller lets it fly, and Baba Miller with the three. He releases it so high, he, you can't bother his shot. Back at the other end. Green's been quiet, knocked down a couple of early threes. Spears spinning inside. The tip by Miller, tip back. Green comes up short. Cleveland gathers. O'Meara urging his team to get down court. He wanted it. He knew he had Green on him. He had the mismatch. He wanted the, wanted the ball before Ganey came down the court. Joseph. Now, Miami spent a lot of energy to get back in this game. Let's see if they can sustain it. Sustain it. This is what we talked about, about running out of energy. Florida State's going to be able to sub here. They're going to bring bodies in. This is where their 6th through 10th affects the game. Right, they've got hockey line changes on their bench. Here comes George. Leaves it for O'Meara. And a chance at two free throws for Norchad O'Meara. can get this team in Florida State in transition because they guards rebound the basketball. They go to the offensive end. So if you can rebound, you can get numbers here. It's a good foul by Bob Miller there. Don't want to give up the layup. Miller tried to take responsibility for the foul. They gave it to Ganey, his second. Reinforcements for Florida State. Worley, Corin, Bull Bowen. Yeah, they, they, they come in waves, and not many teams can play this way, but this has been a staple here at Florida State. Pack getting a breather for Miami. Now, Mir is your traditional big. He's shooting 80% from the free throw line, and but I think it's fatigue. I think, you know, the fatigue of playing so much and playing so hard, I mean, he has to, and their ball screen coverage, he has to hedge, he has to recover, and he's down there battling amongst the trees. He spends a lot of energy. He's six of his last 15 from the strike, and Florida State has built its cushion back up. It's now seven spears. With another basket, he's got 13. Yeah, getting to that mid-range, going to that right hand is a strength of his. And you let him get to his spots, and he can score it. Cleveland's been quiet today against his old team. That doesn't go. He's now one for eight. Yeah, sometimes you can psych yourself out. You want it so bad, you, you rush in a little bit, and you'd hope by now he can settle in. But he's got nothing easy. You know, and that's where... He needs his teammates to help him get some easy baskets to get going to have, have an impact on this game on the offensive end. Primo Spears, the pull-up. Rebound by O'Meara. Seven points, 11 rebounds for Norchad O'Meara. Pop 
Kessler picked up by Corrin. Florida State will switch one through five. It doesn't matter. Joseph lost it, regains it. O'Neal can't get the basket, but has two shots coming. Joseph almost lost that. He gathered himself and was able to find Amir and draw the foul. Miami's fought back in it. Got a close one here. Come back and join us on the other side. The interaction with everybody here, the service advisors, your sales associate. When I walk in, they're always glad to see me. Everyone that touches that vehicle, they take pride in being here for the brand. We hold ourselves to you know, very, very high standard. I think this is the premier place. The way they attend to the customers is second to none. Our customer service experience, we're like family at the dealership. So when we sell you a car, we're not just selling you a car, you're family at the end of the day. Subway is now slicing their deli meats fresh. That's why the garlic roast beef is preferred by this QB. And preferred by QBs with some beef, like us. And if we prefer it, we know you'll prefer it too. Wait, we have beef? So much beef. Right now, get a free foot long at Subway, like the new Deli Heroes. Buy one foot long in the app, get one free. It's a pretty big deal. Kind of like me. Order in the Subway app today. Australian Open. Hits different from the networks of ESPN. She has it. The competition's never been better. I've never let a woman do that. The stars have never been brighter. Kelly. Oh, that was pretty. It was Amor magic. Something brewing tonight. There's no stopping us now. This is just spectacular. That's our move. Women's College Hoops on ESPN and ABC. Anish Roth, Randolph Childress, Florida State with a seven-point lead on Miami. And our broadcast position is right next to the Florida State bench. We get screened from time to time by Leonard <laughs> Hamilton, but we can also hear what he says. Yes. And every time Florida State slows down, he is imploring his team, no, go quickly, go fast, push. Pace, pace. He wants to continue to pace, and he knows if it slows down, you're allowing this Miami team to catch his breath. They made a run. He understands they slowed down a little bit. They're trying to sneak some rest for their guys. He wants his guys to continue this pace, and they did so trying to extend this lead again. For both teams, what do these final eight minutes come down to? I think for Miami, it's going to be continue to put pressure on the rim and try to get Florida State in, in rotation. I think they've been it. That's where their threes have been the most effective. When they try to just shoot against their length and step back, they struggle. And it continues to defend. They've turned it up in a, on the defensive end of the floor and got transition layups themselves. So both teams got to just stick to their identity. And that's Florida State we talked about. They're not going to change. They're going to continue to play that way. And this actually extended break here with the officials is giving Miami a chance to recover. Yeah, this is a free timeout, and we're yeah. trying to figure out you know, what the discussion is at the scores table. They didn't let us know anything had happened, so. So they changed the foul. No, that was it. Originally, it was given to Ganey. And it was you Baba made the Miller. point. Yeah. And Baba Miller, too, volunteered. Yeah. I volunteer as tribute, and they changed the foul on Miller. So Ganey only has one foul, and Baba Miller picks up his second. It's just bookkeeping. And Norchad O'Meara is at the free throw line. O'Meara today is now three points away from his eighth double-double of the season and the 59th of his career. And the Hurricanes 
since Omir joined the team prior to last year. 21 and 2 when he gets a double double. He's going to have to earn it tonight because he is in there battling amongst the trees. Got himself in some foul trouble early. Was a little tentative and a little more confident right now trying to get back in his game on the offensive end of the floor. Watkins picked up by Omir. Miller the height advantage on Cleveland. Backdoor, Worley, and one. It's a great cut by Worley, and we talked about it. He's, he doesn't stretch it from the three-point line, but he's a guard that attacks the rim, goes to the offensive glass, and great job here back knowing the freshman, George. And gets the end one here. You talked about it in the open. The different ways Baba Miller can yes. impact the game. You saw another example. I mean, he does everything well. I mean, he blocks shots. He's versatile on the defensive end of the floor. Can guard all five positions. When you don't have a dominant post, and even when you do a physical post, he uses his length. On the offensive end, he's more comfortable now shooting threes. Big offensive rebound for Watkins. Worley's got six assists. Shot clock winding down. Corrin puts it up. Cam Corrin, seven for seven from the field. He's got 16 points. They were trying to get him to post up on Joseph. He had the advantage inside. They couldn't get it to him. And when Watkins drove baseline, he just popped up. Shot the 15-foot jumper. George got Spears in the air, gets separation, and fires Omir on the putback. You couldn't see him from, from our angle. You just saw this big claw. He snatched the rebound and finished on the other side. Big guy carving out space down there. What he maybe gives up in height against Florida State, he makes up for in girth. And that's going to be over the back on Miller, his third. One thing to keep a uh, mindful eye of, too, is free throw shooting for these teams. You know, this is a close game down the wire. I mean, Miami's the best free throw shooting team in the, the ACC, and Florida State's the worst. So it's just something to keep an eye on. The Knowles, though, have been better from the line in conference play. Pat from deep, his third three. He's got 15. He said it. Three's coming waves. He struggled early and it's knocking him down now. Miller wow. follows his miss. The Mayorkin again starting to show signs of all the potential that's been talked about for almost two years now. Yeah, the game is slowing down for him and took an off balance shot there, but when he rebounded, he kept it high. And there's just there's no shot blockers there. There's nothing they can do. And I said that even when he shoots his jump shot. They can't block it. Just a great job there. He drove it, avoided the charge, got it on the glass, just kept it high. And, you know, for this Miami Rock. Officials back at the monitor. Now, with this Primo Spears on the court now in the backcourt with him, Worley, it allows Nigel Pack to kind of match. That's his matchup on a smaller defender. It's a clock and a timer issue. It, the clock stopped. You see there, it stops at 19 seconds. You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> the clock issue wasn't stopping that layup. Miller tonight, seven points, seven rebounds. Now you look what he's done in these last three games against Notre Dame over the weekend, 
Had three blocks and nine rebounds. Game prior against Wake Forest, a big win for Florida State. Career-high 14 points. Against Virginia Tech, eight points, ten rebounds, five assists, three steals. He's impacting the game in different ways. Maybe he came here as a highly touted, flashy superstar. He, he may not be that type of player, that type of scorer, but he's able, again, to impact this Florida State basketball team in a multitude of ways. I think he's indicative of, of the young kids in general. They want to come in and, and impact the game offensively. And as talented as he is, he wasn't ready for that at this level. But what he could do and what Coach Ham has gotten him to do is impact it in other ways. Passing, defending, rebounding. He's doing all the other things, and then the scoring just comes. And what you learn is you can't dictate what the defense is. And for Florida State, the ball just finds you. Your job is to move, cut, let the ball find you. They're not giving one guy the ball to take 15 or 20 shots. Well, we've had a couple of stoppages by the officials. And, uh, these are free timeouts for a Miami team that runs six, you know, usually seven deep at the most. I know Coach Ham can't be happy about that. I know he wants to pace going, and he's been harping on it all game long. But We are in Coral Gables tonight. I'm not insinuating anything, but we. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a wire someone could pull. Wow. Pack is starting to feel it. A game high 17. There is no wasted motion in his shot. I, I, I'm telling you, it's as quick as there is in the country, and I can watch him shoot jump shots all day long. Watkins defended by Poplar. Now Worley, they back off Worley. He's only attempted one three on the season. Spears using the Ganey screen. Miami making Florida State work. Miller, that hits the side of the backboard. Here comes Pat. Poplar draws the attention. Good recovery by the Knowles. Joseph underneath. Omir the flush. It's a great pass, a great find there. I thought Baba Miller got away with one too. Stuck his hand in there, but Omir just powered through it and finished. And a foul as Spears makes his move to the rim. Joseph just drives there and keeps himself under control. Nice drop off. And you see the hand in the back there. Bishop didn't see it. Third foul on Pack and Florida State in the bonus. It'll be a one and one for Primo Spears. You mentioned Florida State as a team, not a great free throw shooting team. Uh, Primo Spears is a very good free throw shooter. He is, and if you notice, when the shot clock gets low, they're trying to find him, and as we talked before, he can be that closer, that guy to get the ball to and go make a play for you off the bounce. You know, every team needs a guy like that. you got to be able to put a ball in a, in a guard's hands, and he's going to make a play for you. And Nigel Pack does that. Miami has a few guys, Ruga Poplar and, and Joseph, but this Florida State team doesn't have a lot of guys like that. And we get a foul on Miami. It is on O'Meara, and that is number four on the big guy. And that's, the, and that's the second offensive rebound on the free throw that they've got. I think some of this stuff is fatigued with him. You know, he's hedging ball screens, he's recovering, he's battling amongst the trees. And he plays so hard, his motor runs so high, and when, got, when big guys fatigue like that, they get to using their arms more to move in their feet. And, and nothing against Nwoko, the freshman who we saw come in to spell O'Meara earlier. But the drop-off is significant when you go from a guy who oh, basically is a walking double-double to a freshman who's played sparingly all season. And that would happen with any, any team in the country outside of Duke with their freshmen, but it takes five stars to, to be able to handle that. And, you know, Chad O'Meara is an all-ACC caliber player, and there's just not many big guys like that get behind those caliber guys. Nigel Pack almost turned it over. Here comes Poplar working around Spears, and we'll get Spears on the reach in his third. So, 
They're not settling anymore on the perimeter. They're starting to just drive the ball down. And, and if you're Miami, you're okay with making this a free throw shooting contest. Nigel Pack favoring his ankle. That has been problematic yeah. of late. Missed a couple of games with the injury. Uh, he tweaked it against Wake Forest. Seemed to tweak it last Wednesday against Louisville. And he'll come to the bench in favor of the freshman, Keyshawn George. Uh, he's been their best player in the second half with 13 points since halftime. He has, and he's shooting it well. And the game is, you know, he's found some space. He's been able to create some space and found his range. And just for the long term, and you don't have a deep bench in general. You, you need your guys healthy. And that's the thing with sprained ankles. It just lingered. He rolled it, and he keeps rolling it, and it's not allowing him to be 100%. Now, we asked Jim Laranaga, and his response was he's okay when uh, we posed him the question about Pac's health. Out of bounds off Miami, so missed opportunity at the free throw line on the one and one. And Florida State now can extend. The Seminoles have not trailed in this game. They led by as many as 16 in this half. Miami cut it to two on a couple of occasions. Gaining. And we'll get a foul. Bensley Joseph trying to plead his case. It'll be his first foul. Immediate timeout, four minutes left in regulation. Florida State looking to go to five and one in conference. Miami looking to pull off a comeback. The interaction with everybody here, the service advisors, your sales associate. When I walk in, they're always glad to see me. Everyone that touches that vehicle, they take pride in being here for the brand. We hold ourselves to you know, very, very high standard. I think this is the premier place. The way they attend to the customers is second to none. In our customer service experience, we're like family at the dealership. So when we sell you a car, we're not just selling you a car, you're family at the end of the day. Some people just know that the best rate for you is a rate based on you. Not Paul. You don't want to ride with Paul. Get a rate based on you with DriveWise and the Allstate app. Subway is now slicing their deli meats fresh. That's why the garlic roast beef is preferred by this QB. And preferred by QBs with some beef, like us. And if we prefer it, we know you'll prefer it too. Wait, we have beef? So much beef. Right now, get a free foot long at Subway. Like the new Deli Heroes. Buy one foot long in the app, get one free. It's a pretty big deal. Kinda like me. Order in the Subway app today. The competition's never been better. This is just spectacular. The stars have never been brighter. That's our move. Women's College Hoops on ESPN and ABC. Florida State has dominated this series of late, having won 11 of the last 12. Matthew Cleveland played on the other side of this rivalry the last few years. Well, today, first game against his old team, two points, one for eight. We know how good he could be in crunch time, the game winner against Miami last year, game winning three against Virginia as a freshman. He's been a non-factor. 
he has and had been playing so well coming into tonight averaging 20 points in the last four games that they played and I think the anxiety and the pressure of wanting to play great just got off to a slow start and just hadn't found any rhythm tonight and for him this will be the easier one of the two it'll be uh, let's say noisy when Miami goes to Tallahassee yeah a little more friendlier here <laughs> Two possession game. Joseph goes inside to O'Meara, and they're going to get Worley on the reach in his third. Even though you're six seven, you're a six seven point guard. You don't want to switch on to North Chad O'Meara. I mean, you don't want to be behind those shoulders in a post as a guard. There's not much you can do but call for help. That time, Worley tried to reach around and grab his arm. It'll be a one and one, and these are big free throws for Omir, who's been struggling now for a couple of games at the free throw line. Not much hesitation on that one. Looked good coming out of his hand, and thought he was a little tentative early, but. Gets them both. Coach L was asking his guys, he wanted some full court pressure there after the free throw, and not all of his guys heard him. Spears against Pack. Yeah, let's see Spears or Watkins here. Get the ball in their hands. We'll go make a play for you. Remember, Pack had to come out after favoring an ankle. Spears falling away, tipped up, and the rebound to O'Meara. 15 points, 13 rebounds for O'Meara. Joseph, the drive, turns it over. So that's a, that's a play by Bob Miller that doesn't show up on the stats. He comes over, Joseph thinks he's going to block the shot, and he doesn't anticipate the pass and creates a steal. It's a heck of a play there. Just showing you with the high cue of, hey, attempting to fake the block shot. Watkins in the paint. It's good. Great recognition there. Coming off the baseline runner, tight curl. With his size and athletic ability, getting right there at the rim. Miami uses a timeout. One left. It's still a two-possession game. 2.33 to go here in the second half. I mean, just great job. Just curling the screen. Just far enough out where you can't help off the top, and you definitely can't help up with that length. They'll throw the lob. They've ran that a couple of times here late. Probably got to cut that screen a little bit and force them to shoot a three in the corner. We've got a triple header on the ACC Network this Saturday. It starts with Clemson going to Tallahassee. Tigers coming off a double overtime loss to Georgia Tech last night. Yellow Jackets home for Virginia. That's a young Georgia Tech team that had been in a lot of these games. They finally were able to close out an opponent last night. They did, and Virginia's young. I mean, we don't we don't think of them that way, but that Virginia team's young, and and they need to take a step and and grow as we really get into the guts of the ACC season. You look at free throws, Florida State. Amongst the worst in the nation. Again, they've been better in conference play. Only yes. five games. And Miami amongst the very best in the nation. And on this floor, Miami has won 25 of its last 27 games. But they did lose here last Wednesday to Louisville and to Florida State last February. Packed. Bad ankle and all with 19. That release is so quick. You have got to be up on that screen as a big or he gets it off so quick. Whoa. Watkins with the hammer! Ho -ho. Wow, I almost fell out of my chair when I saw that, trying to look back and get the angle. That's what, this is how you break a press. No shot blocker. No, Chad O'Meara, I'm not throwing a lob. I'm putting this on your head. Wow. 
And Florida State got a warning after that last dunk. Pax three is not there. O'Meara, another rebound. And he'll go back to the free throw line. His 11th and 12th free throw attempts coming. That's catching a body. Yeah, that's one of those ones. You got to make a business decision. You're standing there flat-footed. He's getting a running start. You might want to Olay that one next time. No, I'm kidding. I always admire the, the, the effort to block those shots. Now you're going to end up on Sports Center either as a bystander or a victim. Winning, winning comes at a price. It comes at a price. And you got to make effort plays like that when you want to win a game like this. I'm trying to, This game is getting down to two-possession game, and blocking that dunk saves your possession. Omir missed them both. Seven of 12 at the stripe tonight. He was three of his last nine from the stripe in his prior two games. And Ganey got three down low, and Florida State are with a chance to extend its lead. Miami sold out on the press there, trying to get a steal. Left Ganey under the basket, unguarded, and nothing Joseph could do but foul him. Now Florida State's going to go to their offensive defensive package. Cam Corn getting ready to check in the sophomore from Allen, Texas. Coach Jones tells him, don't let O'Meara push you underneath the basket. I think it's a lot easier said than done. That's an NFL tight end. Yeah. Poplar. Let's it fly, rebound Spears. Well, we come up on 90 seconds to play. Man, we're here now for Florida State. It's, you, need to, you need to take this under 10 and look forward to getting Spears in Primo's hand and under eight seconds and let him go make a play. This is what his role is on this team right now. Spears splits the D and is fouled on the way up. That's why. Yes. He was brought in. Yes. He, he, he's such a perfect fit for this team because he's the guy to do this. If you come too early, lazy, he loves the split. He's done it a couple times tonight. Steps in with the Euro. And if you're afraid of his mid-range, he has a quick pull-up jump shot. And this is what he's here for, closeout game. And he needs to prove he can do that. He hasn't been at Georgetown. They weren't winning. And now he's had to change his game to fit into a team for them to win. And he has a very important role for the Seminole, Seminole backcourt team. The lead is nine. Corn checks in for Ganey. And now you got to wonder how much gas is left in the tank for Miami. Yeah, this is, they got to go for threes now. They're down nine. And, Try to get some quick ones in. Pack from the logo. And the rebound by Worley. Yeah, if they don't foul here now, I don't think they, they're going to dribble it out and just play. Now they are not fouling. They're trying to tell them who to foul. They want to foul. Worley would have been the guy, a 68% yeah. free throw shooter. Yeah, the Miami's bench trying to tell him to foul Worley. And Pack steals it away. They need threes. Poplar from deep, short. And the rebound to Watkins. Over to Spears. And Miami will not foul. A Florida State team that closed out the 2023 calendar year with a home loss to Lipscomb. He's sitting atop of the ACC right now, outside Five of Carolina. Five and one in conference play. The lone loss was to North Carolina, a game in which they had a double-digit halftime lead, a double-digit second-half lead, and the Seminoles get their sixth straight win here in Coral Gables. And there might be a second left because there was a small difference yeah. between the game clock and the shot clock. So they have a second back out there. And, and this is just bookkeeping. Yeah, and just and, and getting a road win. 
I mean, winning on the road, no matter what conference you win, is really hard. It's definitely hard in this league because there are no bottom feeders. Every team is tough at home. Heck of a win by Florida State. Miami's now lost three out of four. Florida State gets its third. Turn me your ears. Oh, boy. We're going off the crust again. <laughs> Wait till I get warmed up.